one. So a little bit late. Milo is actually going to be turning six months old in four days, but this is his five month update. <laughs> so I'm going to go back and try to remember things that actually happened in between his four month and five month update. So, um, at five months old, I weighed him at home and I think our scale is pretty accurate to what the doctor's scale is. And he was about 13 and a half pounds. And I don't know how long he was. He's actually has an appointment um, in a couple days for his six month checkup and we will find out his exact weight and um, length and also head circumference. So that will be exciting to get actual um, stats on him. But current, I think he currently probably is getting close to 15 pounds now that he's almost six months old. <laughs> he's so excited right now. So little Milo, oh my gosh, he's been learning and doing so many new things, it's just crazy. Um, about four, four and a half months, he started rolling from his um, back to his belly. He's always ro rolled from um, belly to back, and he's now rolled in both directions. Um, which was exciting. It was an exciting milestone to see him roll for the first time in that direction. Um, he's looking at all his toys on the floor right now. Are you looking at all your toys? Look at look at the camera, Milo. Look, <gasps> say hello. <laughs> I wish I would have done this update right when he was five months old because um, so you could actually see his five month old size and his hair is coming in a lot. But um, at five months old, his hair was not in quite this much, but now, now it is. Are you gonna sit still so mommy can do this? <sighs> so overall, Milo is just super happy. He's a happy kid, he's smiley, he'll smile at almost anyone. Um, I love that about him. He's still pretty small. Um, he's starting to get some like chubby little cheeks and chubby little thighs, but overall he's still like pretty small. I mean, to be 13 and a half pounds at five months old, it's, it's I mean, yeah, five months old is pretty small. He's also pretty short. Um, he still wears all zero to three month clothes and a few three to six month clothes at five months old. Um, some of the zero to three month clothes I took out of his wardrobe just because they were like too warm. They were like really wintry and some of them were kind of Christmassy, um, but they still fit him. So at, at five months old, he was still fitting in all his zero to three month stuff and a few three to six month things. Um, he is, and so he's two diapers. Um, what else about you, Mr. Milo? This is his little fox that he is um, starting to like, and that's my doing. I'm trying to get him attached to this to help him sleep. And speaking of sleep, um, that has been difficult. So right before, well, first of all, we've been travel. We traveled for a lot, a long time, from about a week until he turned four months old till about a week after he turned five months old. So about six weeks, we did um, a bunch of traveling where we weren't even home for more than a week at a time. We went. We drove down. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Boo? Don't cry. We drove down to California and back, then we went to my parents' house for a couple weeks, and then we went to Phoenix for a few days, and then for a spring break with the kids, we went to a beach house over in Olympia, and so it was just a lot of travel, which completely ruined any routine and schedule he had. Um, he was sleeping in his pack and play sometimes, sometimes he was sleeping with me. Finally, when we got home... We um, decided to really work on a routine and sleeping and we transitioned him out of our room. So now he's in his own room in his crib. And that was really hard the first few days, weekish. Um, it was really hard on me emotionally, just not having him in the room. Um, I was worried. I just would constantly be checking on him and watching the monitor. Thank goodness we have a video monitor. I don't know what I'd do without that thing. I'd probably be sleeping on the floor in his room. Um, but it was time for him to be out of our room. Um, the pack and play wasn't very comfortable anymore. He was sleeping like in the bassinet portion of the pack and play. It just didn't seem very comfortable for him anymore. And I really just wanted him in his own room. I, th I think that he would sleep better. Um, 
longer periods of time possibly because he would wake up when he would hear me stir or if, you know, he'd go to bed first and then I'd come in and my husband would come in later and then he would wake up. You're going to drop your binks. He's just, he's a busy guy. He just wants to, he wants to get down and play with those toys. <gasps> yes, he does. Yes, he does. Um, and then another thing happened, I was swaddling him up to about five months old, and then he started rolling in his swaddle. So that was just done kind of in a moment. He rolled and was just like, all right, I don't feel like it's safe anymore. We're not swaddling you. So, um, that kind of posed a problem because for five months he'd been swaddled for nap times, for bedtimes, and, um, it was just, it was hard. I didn't know exactly what to do. Um... So we had about two nights of him not being swaddled and him, I'm just trying to put him to bed just like laying down in a sleep sack. He would just roll and cry and it was really, you okay? You choking on your spit? It was hard. So I found um, this baby magic sleep suit. Milo's playing on the floor. So here is the baby Merlin's magic sleep suit. It's kind of like this thick um, weighted type suit and it's for transitioning from swaddling. Um, I wasn't ready for Milo to sleep on his stomach. He's never slept on his stomach and he doesn't like it. I didn't feel comfortable with it yet just because I don't feel like he's old enough. So I got this and um, it is pretty magic. It's not magic in the way where there's some reviews where people have said, my baby slept 12 hours of the night, this thing is incredible. Um, but it does help him sleep. He'll sleep, you know, three, four, five, six hours at a time. Um, he will sleep in his crib. So this has been a real lifesaver. Um, now that he's getting a little bit older, I'm thinking about starting to slowly transition him out of this and into just a regular, like, sleep sack. Um, but for now, this has been, like incredible lifesaver. It's starting to get a little bit warmer outside though, so I want to get him out of this before summer hits. So sleeping has been kind of up and down, but I, I am happy to say he is now in his crib for naps and bedtime. He's not sleeping through the night. Um, at five months, he was waking up like three or four times at night still. Now that he's closer to six months, it's getting a little better. Now it's like twice a night. Um, as far as breastfeeding goes, he's, he's doing really good. I mean, I don't really plan on stopping, um, definitely not before one, you know, maybe sometime between like 18 months and two years old. Um, but it really just depends on him. Um, I definitely wouldn't stop breastfeeding before one, but I'm just going to kind of let him lead the process in that. So for now, breastfeeding, he still eats about every two to three hours during the day. Um, and about... Oh, at nighttime, it's just, it can vary anywhere from like three to seven hours. Um, he, his sleep is just all over the place. Sometimes he'll sleep great, sometimes not as good. Um, but we're getting better. He's getting the hang of it, being in his crib, and I'm a little bit more relaxed now. Um, I can actually sleep, <laughs> which was hard for a while. He would be sleeping and I would just be awake, like staring at the monitor. So that's Milo at five months old. He's active and happy and growing and um, learning all kinds of new stuff. We're still doing sign language and I really think he's starting to understand. Um, I've been doing this for nurse, it means milk, but I really think he's starting to understand what it means um, and he gets really excited when I do it. So that has been fun and it's just, it's so fun watching him grow and you meet all these milestones and learn all these new things and um, it's just really exciting so so much has happened between five and six months and I'm trying not to say too much um, just because I really want this to be the five month update but on the six month update which I will be filming soon there is um, even more things that he's been doing so look for that and um, look for Milo's um, first solids video because actually just about an hour ago had his first taste of solids and that was so exciting and we have that on video and I'll be posting that on Wednesday so look out for that so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys very soon Bye.